I'm David Lim. I have many careers. I am an architect, photographer, archaeologist, historian, investigator, artist, and many, many other things, etc., etc. It's great to do many, many things because they all interrelate and link together and you can benefit one thing from the other. I can do so many things because I'm a Christian. I believe in God and my Almighty God enables His people to do many things. So today I'm going to talk about uh, a great many subjects, especially about uh, package engineering of a Chinese lens. I am a photographer and I have also taught photography. I have some students who are able to shoot perfect pictures with one camera and one lens. For them, that's good, that's enough because their photos, their pictures are perfect. They can produce perfect pictures from one camera, one lens. So for them, one camera and one lens solved all their problems. And then there are other groups of photographers who talk about the, the Holy Trinity. Three zoom lenses that covers a whole range of what they use and what they shoot and to them that's enough. And the Holy Trinity is usually uh, a super wide angle to wide angle lens like 16 to 35. So the widest of the range is about 16. With exceptions of uh, like Sony 12 to 24, and then you can say the Holy Trinity of yours starts at 12, 12 millimeters. That's very, very wide. And the second one will be the, the medium normal zoom for almost all the needs, all the shootings, and that's about uh, 24 to 70. A zoom of that range will cover the normal wide angle you need more than enough because a lot of people shoot 28 or 35 as their wide angle. And up to 70, that's enough for portraiture. And then a medium range to a long range zoom like a 70 to 200 so for most people their package will be three lenses joining together to form a range from 12 down to 200 but i'm a super photographer i do much more so i carry a lot more lenses for a trip to cover many many other situations. I usually bring along more than 12 lenses for a trip. That's not including a tripod and the other instruments. And when you go onto a plane, onto your flight, you usually carry your valuable cameras and lenses for the protection of your equipment. But there's a weight limit and size limit. So usually you can bring along the, um, maybe six lenses and two camera bodies in your camera bag. But I have more than 12. So more than half of my equipment is in my cargo bay luggage. They will be shipped in my big suitcase. So Package and protection is very important to me. Not just that I have extra camera bag in my big luggage, there will be other forms of package to protect my lenses and equipment as well. So today I'm going to talk about packaging engineering more. So I'll put on to my head of engineers. Very often lenses 
Oh, and Neil will come with a pouch. And pouch is a good protection, but it doesn't give a lot of information of the equipment. And it looks a bit crude. So usually lenses will come in boxes. And then cheaply come in uh, hard plastic mold support. So that when you open your lens box, you have a, a mold plastic or foam support, which is adequate for lens protection, but basically that's all. You don't really use it for other purposes. You don't travel with your lens housed in your uh, brackets, uh, hard foam package. So they are space taking and usually useless after you you bought your lenses or cameras and when they're delivered next thing is that we think of boxes cases to house your lens and equipment and they come in box boxes and people are usually uh, having extremes of their tastes so you have black box which sounds uh, secretive uh, you wonder what's inside it's a black box and then you have white box lenses come in a white color box so they come into an extreme color form of two extremes and white boxes this is uh, from TT Artition a little bit of a picture to entice people and show what's inside and it's opening like a a watch, watch box or a, a jewel box very interesting mm, not really a lot of protection the, the box is really rather thin and you don't really carry your lenses around in such form when you travel because it's big, it takes up a lot of space it doesn't necessarily offer a lot of protection and it can open quite easily so white box design looks like a jewel but that's a bit about all a kind of Chinese <laughs> sentiment or invention and then we have black box made of paper paper boxes which mm, might not last very long and also you don't usually travel with your lenses housed in paper boxes and then when you open up oh it breaks with uh, horrible glue marks that's not very nice it doesn't supply a lot of information about your equipment and then it comes with pieces of foam which it's not tidy so you have this kind of a presentation and protection also designed and made in China so the Chinese people is really diverse in thinking and doing lots of silly things and then today I want to talk specially about this design and package and presentation this is from seven artisans one thing that makes Chinese Chinese is the Chinese characters which is very um, nice useful and artistic it can be an, an art form by itself so we have Chinese words which is very sentimental and this, this red marking said made in China so unlike what we are used to a line of English words telling you it's made in some places made in China or made in Japan here this is sentimentally Chinese it's a square form of Chinese seal with Chinese characters saying it's made in China and also artistic Chinese words as its logo telling you it's a Chinese product 
the box is made in such a size and shape that it like it looks like a present. We present a piece of present, which is good. It's tightening the whole box tightly that it doesn't fall apart. It doesn't come apart. It has letterings and pictures showing you what's inside on all its sides so that you have some idea of what's inside, what's its composition, what it's made up of, its like the appearance, its shape, coatings. Again, the normal sign made in China in a line of English words. The positioning of the wordings tell you which side is up. So that you don't go it upside down and open it upside down. It also gives you an idea of the internals of the lens and also other manufacturers do that as well. You see the internal, uh, the schematics of the lens elements as well and that's very nice because you want to know what's inside, what's inside your lens as well. Now we op open the, the box up. It's made with some stiffness that you feel is solid, protected. And that's good. It doesn't open up loosely. So it has, has a tactile feeling. It spreads right through your fingers so that you feel there's a substance, there's a size, but it's under control. You're controlling it with your fingers. You open up and it slides tightly and not just smoothly. Slides open and it also has a sign to show you which side up. This side up so that you don't open it this way and drop your stuff or open it the other way. So the lid tells you another very important information and not just a secret to open it this way. After opening it, it shows you it has a foam piece to secure the inner content. You are given a cloth pouch which is very useful and this thing you can use for years to house your lens afterwards. And the texture is good as well piece to take away. Of course you will throw it away afterwards and not using it. And very useful indeed it provides you with a hard pouch, hard lens container. That is very useful because it's very very common to house lenses in a lens pouch if it's designed well. And this one is good. It has a nostalgic artificial leather which is really plastic on cloth it gives people who love conservation a feeling that you are not killing animals this is artificial you don't need to kill animals take lives to make your own enjoyment and product but these people do not usually think that these products come from petroleum. They are petroleum products. And we are running out of crude oil. We are running out of gasoline. And the whole world is telling a lie that carbon dioxide is a pollutant. We are polluting our whole world and also creating greenhouse effect, global warming, and then they try to avoid this word of sensitivity and call it uh, weather change. So with this product you have <laughs> what people talk about as weather change, which is not nice. But lie is lie and use is use. You still have a good article for use. And many design is very refined and have some secret. If you don't have the secret 
of making that particular product, you just don't make a good product. The zip is one of such things. It seems very simple when we are using a lot of zips, but there are secrets with a zip, and if you don't get it right, your zip will fall apart. It doesn't work for long. And Chinese zip for clothing do not have this secret. So very often with Chinese zips, they fall apart. And therefore, no matter how good your clothing is, it doesn't last because the zips break and fall apart. So the designer of this product have chosen a zip that is not for clothing. And this zip will work for a long time. That's very good. And then when we open up, we see that there is a compartment for your secret information. And also it has layers. It's not just one or two layers. It has layers. And therefore it's cushioning your lens and give, giving up a lot of protection. But when the lens is so tightly fit, how do you good pull it out? How do you get it out? So it comes together with the pouch, a very special plastic bag. Why is it special? Because it's a kind of soft and smooth plastic recyclable that we use for hospital equipment. It slides well and it's soft. Very often people use hard, brittle, cracky plastic for their plastic bags. And the feeling is bad. It's not that good in terms of this tactile feeling. And because it's hard, you feel that it's rubbing on other surfaces and rubbing on your lens as well. It crackles and makes a lot of noise and that's not very nice. But this one, it's soft, soft plastic, smooth, with texture, so that it has some sort of grip in your hand, not slippery, not slipping away, but it's slippery enough for you to pull your lens out with ease and tough enough for protection. And very often, I package my lenses in plastic bags as one level and one layer of package to uh, avoid dust and a little bit of water splashing and house my lenses in this way. And because plastics have a, a slippery surface, lenses putting together or rubbing together are not likely to rub off the metallic surface and the paint of other instruments and other lenses. So plastic bag is important and a good plastic bag is even more useful and important. So this 7 Artisan lens comes with very nice box with detail, good form production, good pouch, good plastic and good cloth bag. So many good things all packed together and still being competitive and economical. I like Chinese art, Chinese calligraphy, Chinese letters and I really love to have photographic equipment having Chinese words on them. So Seven Artisan has achieved that. It has Chinese character as its logo. And those people who don't read Chinese will say, well, it's some sort of uh, logo, some sort of pattern that I don't understand, I can't read. But it has the English words as well. So two things together shows you what it is. In English, you can read of what the logo is. And then the Chinese logo gives you the artistic, nostalgic characters of the Chinese culture and language. On the rear cap as well, there's the 
Chinese logo as well as the English wording, English logo. So two logos can be housed on the same surface, top and bottom. This is very good indeed. Metallic cap, which is also nostalgic. And then information in English, so that you can read and understand what it is. I like using Apple lens, Apple lenses because Apple chromatic lenses gives me clean white color and not always spreading white color up into its component colors. I do have chromatic lenses and other forms of special lenses, but I enjoy Apple lenses as well. Just as people enjoy black being black, white being white. Black and white, black is black, white is white. Because there's a sentiment related to it. Here in the box we have black and white as well. So one box contains color as well as black and white. And not just a sentiment of black and that of a black and white. China is producing a lot of completely manual lenses. What's meant by that is not it is a, a manual focused lens, but it has no electronics, no electrical context. In one way, you can say that's primitive. Chinese don't have the technology for the electronics. But in another sense, there is a wars of ideology, economic battles as well. The West, the free world, not just the West, the free world is fighting the invasion of communism, invasion of CCP and other communist parties. And the free world is resisting the exportation and the networking of communist electronics, including AI. And AI works with electricity, electronics. So to allow your local citizens, the citizens of the free world, to be in contact with communist electronics is detrimental in many ways. So if China, Chinese communists keep on just producing electronics, first of all, they are not at the same par as the free world or the West as Americans in, in terms of electronics. There's still some catching up with Japanese electronics, AI and design, but the free world is resisting the exportation of such equipment and design from communist countries, from the CCP. But the CCP and the Chinese from the mainland also want to make money and export their goods. So one of the ways of exporting prized elements items and still get accepted and used by the free world, the West, is to produce items that have no electronics, that doesn't require electricity. Therefore, there's no electrical contact, no electronics, and that will be much more acceptable by the free world items of quality, items that can be manufactured 
in China. Without electricity, the need of electricity and electronics, and without any electronics and electrical parts. Also, China produced a lot of rare earth elements, so and rare earth elements are used to make a lot of special glasses. So China can make a lot of special optical glasses. And these rare earth glass are very often used in the making of quality lenses. So China has the raw material to make a lot of good lenses. And by making them manual lenses, it avoids the electricity and the electronics parts and produce quality products that can survive EMP attack as well. So in the future, economically, chemically, physically, we will have a lot of manual lenses from China, from communist parties. So I hope uh, this talk today tells us something about Chinese. They are not just cheap people making cheap stuff. Uh, decades ago, to talk about the cheapness of Hong Kong people or the Chinese people, the West will talk about uh, plastic. It's so plastic. It means uh, flimsy, not long-lasting, not nice, cheap. So when you think of Chinese products and Hong Kong products, they talk about Chinese. Oh, it's Chinese. It's plastic. It's plastic. And then, later on, it talks about cheap electronics. So there's a phrase, say, transistorized then half the price. So it's about cheapness and about small and uh, being advanced in terms of electronic products. So it's all depend on the transistors, like transistor radios decades ago, small, compact with electronics and cheap. So the phrase transistorized and half the price. But now with this Chinese product that I, I'd like to talk to you today, it's about design, well thought out design, value for money, cheapness so it gives you a lot of value plastic pouch cloth pouch leather case in a protected wooden uh, paper box to you with all the needed information outside and also instruction books inside and also the amalgamation of Chinese characters, art with English characters and English information, top and bottom, very nice, very important. For many years, other manufacturers from Japan and Germany contacts only in English words, Sony only in English words, they all use English only for communication and for cultural purpose. And these Chinese products, the TT Artisan, 7 Artisan, are breaking this mode of thinking and this format. They have Chinese pictorial characters as cultural form and art form. For communication, Nostalgia, use, and aesthetics. And this is a great achievement, breaking out outside the box of English only culture. So today we see this very, very nice Chinese product and design, well thought out design, 
which enrich the whole culture, the whole industry, and the mind as well. So it's not about what we have, but about what we do with what we have. It's not about human beings, it's about how human beings embrace God to expand humanity, to expand the mind, culture, thought, life, and more in eternity. May God bless you all. May you find peace and sufficiency in the Almighty God. The Father loves you very much. Amen.